We're about an hour and a half outside of LA I'm in the mountains. This place just has this like magical feel about it. It helps with circulation in the pond and gives all that debris over towards your skimmer or intake bay, whatever it might be. I think we've moved more than halfway. Right? Hmm. Hey, good morning, everybody. Coffee in hand. Brian with Team Aquascape. I am in Twin Peaks, Arrowhead, Go Big ahead. Bear, Lake Arrowhead, Big Bear. One of the three, I'm not sure. I think we're actually in Twin Peaks, but we keep saying Big Bear. Somewhere in California. But we're here at the Pine Rose Resort and Cabin area, and I'll tell you what, it is spectacular. The first time you guys probably met Bernie was at the shack build. He did a really cool bridge out there. He's actually got over a thousand linear feet of water features, kind of just cutting through the property all over the place, tying all of these different um, cabins together, making it just a really cool, special place. This place just has this like magical feel about it. And that's what it's like. We're about an hour and a half outside of LA, I'm in the mountains, and there's cedar trees everywhere. I'm here because Bernie, for the last three, four, five years, has been hosting an event called Weekend at Bernie's. Bernie is a really special person. He shows us how to throw axes, how to rock crawl with big Jeeps and little RC cars. He shows us how to build fires, um, walk through nature, and learn how to eat this plant or that plant. Super special guy but we always want to do some type of build together. And so we are going to do what I would call an old fashioned barn raising, a build a pond day, and we are going to build a pondless waterfall over in this area. So there was actually an existing pond down here. It had been kind of neglected, really hard to see. And I think our biggest, woo, our biggest focus with this feature is going to be make sure that everybody can see it from the road and from the parking lot over here. So you can see we're kind of at a busy intersection. We've got cars coming up and down this way, cars coming this way. I want to get a waterfall facing that road so everybody coming southbound on this road can see a nice waterfall and then give them something real special in this area so as they come in to check in to the resort over here, they see this waterfall. We might even make it kind of kid friendly and do some jets and stuff so if people are here with their families, mom and dad are inside checking in, the kids can come over here and kind of play with some stuff. I'm not sure if we're going to do that yet or not. I will tell you we are going to take all of this rock and this slope and in a day, maybe a day and a half, create something really awesome. Let me get started on that. Why don't you guys go take a tour of Pine Rose Cabins and Bernie's Water Features. Come back in a little bit and I'll show you some of the progress. in with another big rock is gonna look weird. You can get that uh, necklace look with small rocks just as easy as you can with big rocks. Big rocks only look big if there's small rocks next to them too. In this area here, I'd much rather see like what we call it a landslide. You see this pile of stuff, we gotta do something with it. From here, I'd almost wanted to see those cobbles just kind of landslided oh, up into stuff. this area over in here. You can do that with gravel, you can do it with cobbles, but because we have all this stuff, I gotta get rid of it. Let's build the landslide with that right in here. So we can just do a chain gain. You get a pile of rocks and then somebody's gotta do that. While we've got somebody working that, you've got Trevor over here doing the plumbing. We're gonna run that three inch pipe right around here. Trevor, we can come up and out over here and then we'll run a trench up and over. Chad and I are gonna start digging out this next pool here. This is the only fall we're gonna have dropping in here. We'll create this big pool back up behind it 
which will then accept the waterfall coming in from that area over there. So it'll also help us twist and turn this thing a lot. When I dig it out, I wanna take this pool down lower than the top of this rock. I think the biggest mistake I see people making when they're doing streams and waterfalls is if you have a slope like this, better with my left or right? Both? <laughs> if you have a slope like this, often people just dig out a channel and they maintain that same grade change. And in actuality, it'll look a whole lot better is it from this point here, dig this out back here and create a drop right here. So anytime you've got a little bit of a slope, dig it out to create a waterfall. Again, like what I'll tell customer, customers, you know, as much as the rocks speak to you and stuff, as I'm digging, I'm pretending I'm the water. If I had a waterfall in nature drop into a pool right there, what's the water done to the ground? It's eroded it away, right? So with my shovels, Hopefully his shovel's faster than mine. I'm gonna erode away the earth, creating that pool. You can take it as deep as you want. You don't want the gravel sticking up above the height of this. Because in nature, you would just never see that. Water's dropped, eroded away the earth, creating a pool. Some areas you can have gravel create landslides or beachy type areas, but I'd rather see the pool. A lot of times we'll take this pool two feet deep. And if you've studied waterfalls and, and streams and stuff in nature, every now and then there'll just be this big plunge pool. And it looks awesome. And those plunge pools are the areas where you usually stop and rest when you're hiking. You see little fish darting around in those pools and stuff. We're gonna create that here. I don't wanna go two feet deep because we only have so much time, but we'll go eight, eight inches and create a little bit of a pool up in here. If I were to bring a waterfall into a pond, I almost never bring it through a big sheet of water because that sheet of water as it hits the pond down below, it creates like an undertow and you'll actually see leaves and stuff drawn towards it, not pushed away. If I wanted that big sheet of water for aesthetic purposes, I might drop it and then have a little three inch waterfall just after it where it like rolls and pushes water across the surface. It helps with circulation in the pond and gives all that debris over towards your skimmer or intake bay, whatever it might be. Sometimes like I'm way more worried about the aesthetics mm -hmm. than I am the currents. Today is aesthetics. Yay. Nice landslide, huh? Everybody's out here placing rocks and whatnot. I'm over here working on the pump systems. We have our check valves that we're putting in. Right now, these pump vaults, they only come with one hole drilled in the side, right? So we have two pumps going into this one and the hole is on the wrong side and we got two discharges that we need to account for. So we just put a standpipe on this check valve. We got large aqua blocks. So this pump vault's gonna sit a lot higher. We need to get that check valve up higher to elbow out. Um, so basically adding in this extra little length of pipe helps you get to that point. So just measuring, cutting, and uh, yeah, fitting it in, making sure it's all right. And then we're gonna run it out and run it around. We're definitely gonna have to cut some holes in here too. We got holes in the back which come pre-cut, but we have to add some to get these two discharges. And then also size difference too, right? Like this is three inch pipe. This is really made for two inch pipe. I'm just gonna take a hole saw, start cutting that away, cut another one over here, uh, and we'll be good to go. All right, so guys, check it out. First waterfall done, and I love it. This area here, for those that didn't know, this is where they drill into boulders to throw the dynamite to blast and, and harvest these things. I didn't really want to see that, but the rock looks so good. We got this waterfall done, everything's framed out. We have that waterfall started back there, the liner in, overlapped, etc., etc. The basin's done, the plumbing is done. We have our pumps installed, two pumps. This has all been backfilled. All the pipe has been trenched and brought all the way to the top. <laughs> so now this can be ready to accept our waterfall. We really have to finish this pool and build one more waterfall. We started at eight, it's 12. So in four hours, I think we've moved more than halfway. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Man down. 
Yesterday when I looked at where we had to start and where we had to stop over in here, I thought I was gonna be busting my butt. Super happy with the progress and how fast we've gone. I love doing these build upon days, being able to share and teach and all that kind of stuff. We're moving along. I think there's a really, really good chance. I'm not gonna say it. No, I'll say it. No, yeah, I'm gonna say it. I think there's a really good chance we'll have this thing running today, but probably not. I don't know. <laughs> After lunch, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna tackle this waterfall here. I've got to get another frame rock in here. We started carving some of this out, make this waterfall a little bit more visible from the street. After that, we're going to get another liner, backfill, we'll overlap our liner, backfill up to this, and then we're going to build our last waterfall right in here. This one's going to be tricky because of the surrounding, where it's like building a pirate ship in a glass bottle. <laughs> Ish. Anyways, let's go eat. We'll come back full stomachs and uh, re energized. All right, Jasper, you got it? Huh? Oh, I feel it. Oh, look at it. Oh. 